Part one of the CNC plasma table build. So I decided to make the Z axis torch holder out of aluminum. So it'd be a bit more robust, compact, lightweight. I started with some scrap 6061, I think a bit of mic six. Machined it a bit. And these are the main components. The main vertical and horizontal pieces and some guide stuff. As you can see, I decided to weld the two main pieces together instead of bolting them. I think it's a bit more rigid. The bottom guide has a bearing pressed in to hold the lead screw, and the top holds the stepper motor. And then they uh, capture two 8mm linear rods between them. The actual torch holder and driven block have linear guides screwed into them as well as a brass threaded guide. I'm using a proximity sensor for that Z-axis positioning and then uh, various other little parts we'll be adding on to here. For assembly I'm first putting in the set screws then attaching the top mount that holds the stepper motor. In the center is the driven block and that attaches to the torch holder. Next the bottom mount that captures the linear rods and holds the lead screw goes on. In the, between those two is the driven block that holds the torch holder. They're connected with bolts and springs between them to allow the reading of the material height. Next, a combination of bolts, spacers, and bearings are installed that will ride on the x-axis beam. The other two surfaces use bearings that are pressed onto a 5mm rod and then they're captured within the main body. Once it's on the beam, it can be tightened using the set screw so that you can align it vertically as needed and then tighten all your bolts down. As you can see it rides super smooth, it's really tight. I think as I build the rest of this I kind of want to build it around where I can use maybe a laser on here, a little mill head, maybe some other items instead of just the plasma torch. We'll see. We'll see in the following videos.